Hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing today? Hey, welcome September. How fast the time has gone. I can barely believe that this is actually Labor Day weekend, and uh, going back to school is in full swing uh, here in the northern states starting this week, and in many other states it has started already. Wow, wow, and wow is all I could say. Here I made a makeshift calendar. So if you say, I don't have a calendar, here's what you do. You just create your own calendar in a simple notebook. You're probably wondering, what's up with this calendar? Well, sometimes when you look at a calendar in front of you, it makes things a little bit more real in terms of planning. And as I mentioned yesterday, we're going to talk about no-spend days. Now, everybody's life is unique, but I could tell you this much. September, for me personally, is a highly expensive month. I have so many birthdays coming up this month, it isn't even funny. For example, you might see my finger here for a second because I need to mark it. Okay, September 8th, there's a birthday, okay? Then we'll go over to September 17th, there's another birthday, okay? And then I have yet another birthday on the 21st, okay? Uh, and wait a minute, I have another birthday on the 7th. These are all actual birthdays, and birthdays can spell expense. And the funny part is, everybody that, that has a birthday this month is key. It's not like, oh, well, you know, let me just, like, skip over the birthday. Whatever. First of all, we don't skip over birthdays. There's always some form of acknowledgement. But usually, it costs, let's face it, a little bit of do re -mi. Now, throughout the year, I do like to put away uh, gifts for birthdays and stuff like that. But sometimes, you end up giving cash gifts when it's appropriate. Let's be realistic and let's be honest, right? So in my case, I decided I'm going to have to sprinkle some no-spend days on purpose, as I say in the past, like Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle them, dash them out all over the place. Uh, since this month is going to be on the expensive side, and I still want to continue my savings goal, I definitely wish to incorporate some no-spend days. Now, today is Sunday, September 1. And we're going to mark it as a no spend. No spend. Now, this is something that you may decide to do yourself. I highly recommend it. It's a great idea to look at what you're doing. So, I anticipate for the week ahead. Okay, no spend because the following week is a gift, a birthday gift week. Okay. Now, going over to uh, Saturday the 7th, which actually means that there are two birthday gifts uh, within the same uh, calendar week, well, within the same few days. So I definitely want to sprinkle in another no-spend day, probably Friday, September 6th. No spend, okay? And that'll make up for the difference for that birthday. Now we're going to uh, September 17th, which happens to be a Tuesday. So then more than likely, I may decide... Another no-spend day. Actually, I did decide. <laughs> Another no-spend on uh, Sunday, September 15th. You see what I'm doing? I'm working around it as we go along. I have another birthday on the 21st. So somewhere within the week, probably looking at, I guess more than likely, the 20th, which would make sense for me. No spend. See what I'm saying? This way, I'm always up to date with my gift giving, but I'm also not breaking the bank because I do, as you already know, have savings goals. And now a moment about savings. When I come back, we'll talk about that. Okay, so hopefully anyone that is interested is going to begin your um, envelope, okay, starting your 
dollar a day challenge. Why do I call it a challenge? It sounds silly for a dollar a day. But guess what? It really is a challenge. Now, I'm going to give you a diary of events of how I squoze out that dollar per day. Now, I'll just give you a tiny example. Today, I refuse to buy any lottery ticket. I mean zero. You know, every once in a while on a Sunday, I may decide to buy, let's say, what we call here a take five ticket. And that costs a dollar. No, this time around, I'm skipping on it. I'm going to stash that on today, September 1st, in the envelope to start my envelope. August was a really good, um, really good turnout, you know, in my cash envelopes, as you saw yesterday. So I want to continue on that. I'm not going to always necessarily see that much in savings every single month, but uh, yesterday the count was really, really fantastic. So, but we have to begin somewhere. And if you're interested in doing so, I really, really hope that you do. And you don't have to start with a dollar. If you can only afford like quarters, dimes, and nickels, get started somewhere. Get started anywhere. Just get into the habit. And every single month, whatever you have, you seal it up. And then when you're comfortable, you go to a physical bank and you deposit it in the bank. It's a lot of fun to deposit money. You know, when you're young and silly, you feel like it's more fun to withdraw money. But then when you get older, you recognize it's actually more fun to deposit it. I like that secure feeling, don't you? So anyway, getting back to that calendar, you could create your own calendar and you could mark down. Get an awareness. And the beginning of the month is a great time for budgeting. And we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so let's talk a minute about our spending plan. And here we start off right away. Assumingly, we're paying the bills. All the bills are paid. Everything necessary will get paid. That's just a given. And everyone should think that way. Then you work with what's left, okay? And a good idea is to do this. You divide up what's left into four calendar weeks, okay? Then you have a rough idea as to what you can either use an envelope plan or just keep that number in your head and just work with what you have. Notice you are living within your means, okay? And if you can live below your means or walk off with extra, that's even better. Now, discretionary spending, that's optional stuff like uh, clothing, um, uh, you need clothing, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about like fancy clothing, uh, the kind of stuff that can wait or stuff that you could go closet shopping with, you know, things of that nature, discretionary spending, and also gifts, okay? Uh, groceries. Um, some people work with a fixed grocery budget. For example, they may say, I have 100 bucks a week uh, for grocery shopping, and it's okay to have that hundred bucks a week for the groceries, but make no mistake, that doesn't mean you have to spend that hundred dollars. Keep that in mind, okay? So let's say that you allotted a hundred dollars per week for grocery shopping. Uh, wouldn't it be a great goal to get as much as you can for as little as possible and uh, walk away with, let's say, forty dollars and spend only sixty bucks, okay? That is a cool thing. We all have to deal with transportation, who has cars, who has to take the iron horse or a bus, or sometimes even a taxi. You know, it all depends on your lifestyle and your personal situation. But transportation is a very real expense. Uh, emergency fund. Let's talk about this for a minute. You know, if you get into that dollar-a-day self-challenge, if you have no emergency fund, let me give you a really good suggestion. Why don't you consider, let's say you walked off with $50 of savings at the end of the month. Maybe you could consider allocating that to your emergency fund. And by the way, for those that did participate, tell the truth. Wasn't it a great feeling that at the end of the month, unlike many people who are broke as a stoke, you walk away with 50 bucks? And the brand new month didn't even begin. Isn't that a really nice feeling? Tell the truth. So this is my mission. I'm trying to help everybody get a little more organized, a little more motivated in spending. And to be honest with you, anything that succeeds usually has a plan. Because a goal without a plan is nothing more than a wish. 
Okay? So don't forget, sprinkle in some of those no-spend days like Parmesan cheese over your calendar. Don't have a calendar? I couldn't find one either for some reason or another. I think it's a great idea just to create your own calendar in an El Cheapo notebook, and you have it, and you write your notes as much as you want. Okay? Okay. And in the meantime, this has been Jack from New York City, and Jack from New York City stays money is my challenging. Thank you so much for viewing, and I really do appreciate your time. Hey, don't forget to come back tomorrow for some more good ideas. Have a wonderful day.